I I have us on page Reish Kofdalen. It's possible that today we might finish the uh, first, the second chapter here uh, with the Rav. So we're going through the seven Tikuni Gil, Tikuni Gil, Gil Galt, the Rosh of Zeranpen, Chamisha, the fifth one, Tikun the Chamisha, the Gil of Zeranpen, Ainin the Slas Gavonim, he has eyes that have three colors. Ainayim Shel Zeranpen, Sheesh Bechem Shlosh Gavonim, Shehem Shachar is black, Yarak green, and also red, Ve'edem. The Mirtas Kamaychu, Roy la other the yaz nirta, a person should be shaking. Machbas rove dinya rib shibhem because in those eyes look out, full of dinim. The Omar Odin it says far ba uh uh it's khan bahal bahalava de nahir. Kishim is galam any erikan pin on the other hand though when the eyes of Erikan pin are revealed, uh uh Hamei Rabbihin is Gavan Olovan which pour whiteness down. Uh, 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 the upper whiteness, uh, uh, we're calling it milk. As, uh, um, let me just say the word halav is the number 38. I don't, it's the number 40. Okay. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't mean anything because he says, the secret of milk. And they're in this milk, the eyes of where their anpen wash. Mehakbonim uh, Hanal from the colors that we mentioned, the red, black, and green. His eyes, like a dove, bathed in milk. There, you have to also do some water into the chur. What does that mean? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. There's a question here. They contradict each other. Uh, we're talking about what's going on with the eyes. That is the supervision the eyes give, the, the seeing, the ability to be able to see. One will say that your eyes will see your shalim nava sha'anan. So it's going to be a... Uh, A safe, secure, quiet, uh, beautiful place. Pirush Agashiranahim Hal Yonel Zimash Gihan the Mata Rabakazara Yushalayam Kir uh Nava Sha'anan uh below Dinim. It'd be quiet, serene peace, beautiful beautiful place. Let me clean my glasses one second. Okay, let's see. Now I got to find out where I am. Okay, so he says so. That's one place where it says the kasev. Also, it's, it writes the elo b'pasuk acher and another pasuk al ir yushalayim in zechah b'tzedek yalin ba tzedek lashon din the hand of b'bechinet dinim nani kroim tzedek. So tzedek dwells there. So is it din or is it shanan navat shanan? As the chavim meishiv ki b'shas hashgach as any zer anpin and so when the lies of Eric anpin. Are being looked out. She aged Becham Shlosha Gavana Bebechida Dinim. And when it's looking out by himself, and it's, it's, uh, it has, it's shining with these three colors. Azain the Amber Bepasak Tzedek Yalin Ba, uh, a Yalin Ba. So then that's why the Pasak says that Tzedek will dwell there with Dinim Shem, Shu Dinim. Omasha and the Amber Bepasak Akhma. Then there's another where it says in Avisha'an and that, so that, uh, quiet, serene, uh, beautiful place. The Heinrich Rebeshaz Hashgach is a Hanayim, a Hanayim shall parts of Eric and Ben Hanik were at the Sassen. So this is an old theme. So we've seen that as the lights of Eric and Ben shine on those of Zeran Ben, they are sweetened. Atika is Sassen. Shuhu Bechinus Rachmim, which is the aspect of mercy. And Necho Kasev, it's written your eyes. So what does that mean? It's missing a yud after the nun. So it's because of a but it doesn't write your eyes. One second here. And the reason why, because the Pasuk is really talking about Eric Anpin, but it's small, it only has one side. So everything, whatever we talk about, the eyes of Eric Anpin, it's missing a yud because it wants to tell you that it's really as if it was only one eye. 
So now when we're coming to the sixth tikkun in the Golgotha of Zeranpen, he says the tikkun that she should the Golgotha of the Zeranpen is Chotem Shal Zeranpen. This is talking about the nose of Zeranpen, Partsuf of the Zeranpen, the Ishtam Bodor. For Yedecha Bechetem, and through the nose, Nikr Shuhu parts of Shal Zeranpen. This is how you know that you're dealing with the parts of Zeranpen, of Zeranpen, Kimetoch Pa'ulos, because in the midst, of the actions that go on with Zerik, Zer, of, of the Chotem, is, uh, excuse me, Nikar Imhu parts of Eric Anpin, we understand <clears throat> whether we're dealing with the parts of Eric Anpin, Shukul or the parts of Zer Anpin, Shuhu Dinim, are the parts of Zer Anpin, which is Dinim. Babar Inyan, so explain this, Bechulus Adene Rebanim Shach Mechachotem Shal Zer Anpin, if we're talking about the what the results of what happens when the uh, when the dinim are blowing through the nose of Zer Anpen, the Amber Tlas shall hove him a took din benuk boy. Is a Kishlosha mini shall have us flames. Uh, Bo Arim benik the Hahotim shall Zer Anpen, the Haim, uh, Ashan, so he names them. He says one is smoke, the Aish and fire, the Gehalim and a Bekale Aish. And I think we probably saw a drush on this on calls of fire, uh, in the Idris. So let's go over number that Shaviya. Now here's the seventh one. The Tika and Shavicha the Golas there is their Anpen is Darga Gakima. It's a crooked path. So he said or a level, a crooked level. So this is referring to the ear. Thou Ozen shall Zer Anpen, Shiyajba Rabinekiv Akum, so the whole inside that goes in the ear canal is crooked. Kamal uh a Kamo Madrega Lakuma like a, a a level, I guess it means like a board or something like that, which is twisted. Or something like that. I don't know what he said, but Drega means a level, I'm not sure. But Tama Dabar Hukade, she is ake the cold bokmimios that you should hold back the voice or the sound, I guess he means, Bakmimios and Nekiva Ozen in the thi- in the twisting as uh 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 ear canal. Uh, the mashvach of the bish in order to be able to hear good things and bad things. By yedei kach shomei ha ozach be bechin umavchin, so therefore the ear can distinguish bein kol tov the bein kol raw between different types of voices. And he says also avavach of im koya also yichalol nekev ha ozin be yosher. But if it would have been straight and just that sound would go right straight in. Ons call you a call, Nick the Bibihiro said the Bibihilo said it would go in really, really fast below Havchana. It wouldn't be time to be able to really distinguish which is good, which is bad. Now, here we have this piece now as we're moving towards the end. And it says, um, it's called Olias Apartsuf and Behistal Kusam. Okay, let's see where we go. You know, this has also some uh, diff- more difficult parts. It can say, Gesiv Kasev, a Pasuk, Ani Hashem, Hu Shemi. I am Yudke, I am Yudke, Vavke, and who is my name? So, Bepirish Zer Anpin, Bebechis Godless, when Zer Anpin has Mochin the Godless, Nishlam Bekol Arba Osius, Shem Chavaya, he then he becomes completed, and he has all the letters of Yudke, Vavke. Then he says that I am Havaya. Anpin Amar Odin. Then Zer Anpin goes on as if to say that as he says, "Who Shemi?" That's also my name. Kolomer Osio Shemi Havaya Shemi and Havaya Nim Shachim Eric Anpin Hanikrahu, because Eric Anpin is the who. Could Lachalon as he's going to go through this. And this is like we explained this once before. The Osius Yaakov, the Eric Anpin, Miss Pashtin, and Miss Yashvin, Bezer Anpin. So let's, we went through a whole thing, a deep thing, which we saw the origins of those letters in the in the Kesser of, of Eric Anpin. And the ten spheres of the Kesser of Zer Anpin, particularly the first three. So, or, or, or I don't know, Chachma Bina Das. So he said that the Osius Yaku the Eric Anpin. So when we talk about those letters, Miss Pashtin, Miss Yashlin, Bezer Anpin, they spread into Zer Anpin. But and now looking at them, the Bechin is Godless Nishlam Zer Anpin Gamba Oz He Oz Achronus. So if we look when he's in a state of Godless, then the final He is added on to him as well. Now he's a Yud K Vav and with a K at the end Achrona Shalom Alchus. 
And now you see all the letters of the name of Maya are revealed there. So the he says af is af the shorish zeranpin the root of zeranpin which is called ani zeranpin is called ani eric anpin is called who here uh who mekoch eric anpin hanikra who so its existence is because of eric anpin beam calls echa beyesh hebdo rav ben echem because there's a tremendous difference between the shorish and the manifestation who conceived ki he necha bezer anpin cause of ani amis v'achaya i had the ability to kill and bring to life Pirush ani amis ani amis bebechinas din. He has a side of din ve'ani echaye bebechinas rachamim has that side too. Side too. Behind the Rebbe Shum, the Bezer Anpin nechlal chen bebechinas bebechinas din ve'chen bebechinas rachamim. So you have these two going on in Zer Anpin. Of a Ramasha on Makach Eric of of a Masha ain Cain with Eric Anpin. Kula Rachamim, over there everything is only one side. Rachamim, the Oz Kot, the Kabbal, the Kol, the Ain Bo Klau, Bechinas Din. There is no Bechinas Din there. But Kasev also written like this. Gemacha Bechin Kos, Bezer Anpen, Bez, his Gavros, Avonis, Atachtainim, Chaz Vesholem. At the time that things are really, we're not behaving the way we should. God forbid. Ve'ane Rebbe Ezra, Ve'ane Ezbol, Sa'ala will lift them up, I'll bear them. Behind the Rebbe Shem to begam b'ravonus begicha b'gadzer anpin in this language that I I uh on the ani he says that's er anpin asa lifting up the ani asbol uh what does that mean he says behind the Rebbe Shem to begam b'ravonus begicha b'gadzer anpin when the begam of the bonus reaches their anpin uh that's what it's talking about ma'ash ein kain erik anpin which is not the case of erik anpin he's talking about just the ability for these bonus to reach. Shabagam avondos atachtonim, ein begir a love never reaches erik anpin. Kamosh de eber michotal. So if you if you if you sin, ma tipo, what's going to happen? Of the of erik anpin, kasu who asano he that is erik anpin is the one that made us. Pirush who the heino erik anpin asano, ki bekoch achachmas dimosh al erik anpin because of the power of the energy that comes out of of the Mochus de Mada, Eric Anpin, the Stal Shuluk of the Elam, Kal Hamitsius, Besod Kula Barach Masis, and then everything becomes completed as a result of the concept of Kulum Barach Masisa. Below of the Nacht, but not us. Ki Mimcha Hakol, because from you comes everything. For Od Kosov, not only that, but it writes like this. For who be echo the Miyashuvenu. So he's in oneness, and who could land him? Answer him. Pirish, what does that mean? Who? That's it, is Eric Anpin. The Haino Eric Anpin, Eino Ela parts of Fechad. He's only one. So the phrase was, Behu Echad. He's in the place, in the state of, I guess, oneness. Umu Yashiven, who could tell me differently? Eino Rebbe Ela parts of Fechad. Ki Eino Lo Nuk Nifredis. There is no separate Nuk in the case of, of Eric Anpin. Shehiba Pechinis Dinim, which would be the aspect of Dinim. El Eric Anpin Kol uh, uh, Kolo Zacher with the cave of it within himself. Eric Anpin is male and female. Mechubarim the parts of Echad uh, that are joined together in such a way that it became a one parts. Of. So and then he says Ki Eric Anpin who Tachlis Rachamim. Ultimately, Eric Anpin is is means Rachamim. Uh, I, I guess Tachlis means that that's it's only projects that way. Vaata bevocha bekama ofanda rabalama nikra erik anpin b'shem hu. So now we want to say a bunch of different ways why the name hu goes with erik anpin. And so v'omo hu ikre man desansin v'loshkia. So the word hu is not really specific. Ha nikra nikra mi mi shemuach achachmo shalo so this this concept here is the word who refers to its chokma. Let's read again. Who nikra me shemuach because the muach of chokma that is within Eric Anpin sasa in the nimsa. It's cold, closed up. It cannot be found. Shu Eric Anpin sheyesh lacha v'mochstima because that mocha that we're talking about here is the moach of Eric of Eric Anpin on the mochstima sheein niftach but never opens. 
who who ma'and of the law is damen la'ena, who negro mi she'ena of his damen la'ash gich of anayim. This is something that is not prepared or in any kind of way that has an opening. Uh, uh, he didn't use the word opening. He said just prepared. La chasaga sa'ayin for the uh, he says of the of of what the eye could reach. Shuhu Eric Anpin han the elamein kol and he is Eric Anpin who is hidden from the eyes of all. Who man the loch of ikre shma? He's the man that's not called by his name. Who nikra me me she ain't a rabbi nikra b'shem v'vayach the rov alamo. He can't be called by the name of Yudke Bavke because he's so completely and totally hidden. Shuhu Eric Anpin she ain't bo osia zavaya el betali is a rabbi zavaya only. Uh, that he says that there's some attachment there in some way, um, um, only that we know that there is some sort of an attachment, there's only a hint to it, uh, 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 just a common hint, a small hint, because of all these reasons that we said, like this, Nikra Eric Anben, B'Shem Hu, B'Loshen Nistar, B'Ne Elam, and that's what it is. Now let's move on a little bit. Okay, that's it right now. Okay.
Hello there. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're on page uh, Reish Kof Tess. We got to this, right? Now, we got to this concept which who refers to Eric Anpin. So he says, let's let's look at the words, the letters osios. I was thinking about this on the way over, and I decided I'd add this thought. He says that now he wants to show us how it is that letters can be built and also their arrangements, how they could be moved within themselves, you know, within a group of a, of a word. So he says, uh, osios who heim so nukva dezer anpin ubina. Now he just told us that who uh, is. Um, refers to Eric Anpin. Now he tells us that the word really heim so is really the secret of this is the nukva and zer Anpin and also Bina. So how do you understand this? So he says, ki osios hu, uh, uh, that's just say hey and vav. We understand that they they represent zer and nukva. So of shazer Anpin who os vav shel shem havaya, right? Well, the nukva is the oz he achrona shel shem So you have those two. V'shneicha misyachdel b'so the yichud, and they both come together in the secret of yichud. V'olim al habina, and as a result of that, they go up to bina. Shehi sowed the letter al. Okay, so that's a possibility. This would be moving you from the right to the left, so that you would have the he and the vav, uh, and you see you're also moving from the top, to, from the bottom to the top. So he says, uh, so he says, um, so os aleph b'tzuras yud vav dawud. But then if he goes to the aleph, so this is the secret of that letter, uh, which is also the secret of a yud spelled like this. The Kamosha Amra Chazalik, the rabbi says, aleph bina. So aleph refers to bina, he says. Aleph refers to bina. Ba'amar od, and he's furthermore, the inyan zecha b'shel his kalalozer anpin bebina, this concept of of Zer Anpin being incorporated in Bina near Mezbaoz Aleph, the uh, uh, Aleph is a reference in the letter Aleph, the Bina. Now let's say the the Aleph, which refers to Bina, Uvavoz Vav the Zer Anpin. Now how does that work? So he says Aleph is Kalil Vavov. Aleph, no, it's wrong. Aleph Kalil Vav. The Aleph has a Vav in it. Ki ba'os aleph yesh b'emz yisud suras vav ba'alachson. There's the form of a, a, a of a vav on a diagonal. Shuhu sod os vav shel zer anpin hanichlo b'shoshu b'bina who was rooted at his root in bina. So the vav kolil aleph kolil aleph. The kamo kain. So the same thing is true when we said that the aleph has a vav in it. So the same thing is that he says that here that the aleph, uh, the vav it has an aleph in it. Kamo kain os vav v'milui kazes. So if you spell vav like this, <clears throat> and you know they always have a question here whether it's hey aleph or vav aleph vav. But here we have particularly a vav aleph vav. So you have a, a situation where vav can have also an aleph in it. Kolo b'zocho os aleph shalbina. Amnam yesh hevdel bein his kalalos os vav os ba os ala, but there's a difference. The his kalalos of the fact that there is a vav inside of the letter aleph, the bein his kalalos os ala ba os vav, and between there's a difference between the two. He said, "Because your os vav koylochu ba atzma ba atzim tzuras os aleph, because it itself. Let me see. He os vav kalo ba atzim. It is incorporated." In its essence, in the source of of uh, aleph, shahai rechavikav alachsom, because the aleph is only an aleph because it has this alachsom. Shall ha aleph who besocha os vav kanalis. So there, therefore, this is inside of the vav. So the vav is really what makes the aleph or part of it anyway. Velo kalu aval os aleph. Enu kolo be'etzim tzuras os vav, but when you get to vav, the vav itself doesn't have have an aleph in it. Ela b'milui ha'os, but you have to go to a form of a milui in order to make that work out, and then you get that. So I think let's see what he says. Our milui ainer of ela tosefes halaos. So we understand because we see the concept of milui all the time that the milui is really something added on in this case to the letter vav. 
Vomer Odin, he says now, you had this combination, hey, vav, azil, aleph. So that was what he mentioned before, is that the hey and the vav, which represents the azach of anuk, they go, it goes to the aleph. Now, how's that working? Ki osius, hey, vav, shuhu zer, v'nuk, hamukusharim, hamukusharim, okay, yachad, viso, the yichud, that are really banded together. They go to the travel to the old Aleph, the the Bina, the Aleph that was represent that that represents Bina. Besot Aliyah the his kavulus b'shoshim kanal, which is the concept of their making an Aliyah to Bina, and they're being incorporated inside of Bina. V'amar O, then he says furthermore, he la'achar shalu zer anpin el habina that after zer anpin goes into Bina. And it becomes what? It becomes one with it. It becomes hidden in the secret of the Aleph Shalbina. Aleph Alzil Aliyud. Then the Aleph then moves to a Yud. Now, I didn't really get the trans, trans, transition here between uh, in the sentence. He, he uh, let, let me see where we start, where it started. So I'd like to read the uh, the upper top uh, the upper the right column of the top. Now we have the concept we mentioned that before because the way the word word who work, works is like that. So this is the aleph that represents vina because they want to go there. Besod Aliyah the his colors b'shorshim canal because that's their mom. V'amar Odin he says furthermore ki la'acha she'alu zer v'nuk el habina. So now they go into the into bina v'nis achlo v'nis alma besod the aleph. And since bina is an aleph, so now they're I guess they're hidden in there and they're uh, joined together into the secret of this aleph shal habina. Aleph azil the yud. Then the aleph itself goes to the yud. As cholak aleph the bina, so this aleph which is bina, im zer v'nuk that have come up into it, the kolal limbo, el uh, el os yud. Now how does that work? The chachma they go. So this this package, which is now taking the hay and the vav. That's the part I'm just kind of quite missing is how it is the hay vav moves into an aleph. But that's what he says. That is the natural progression anyway. They, let's say they're making an aliyah. But I'm just missing something in there in my understanding. He says, El os yud the chokhmah. So now they're, all of it, this package, which is now all attached to an aleph, is going up to the yud. Shehuba bechidis aliyah vehiz kalalos shel zer anpin v'nuk v'bebina v'shorsham asher b'chokhmah. So this is like pa- packaging up everything in one big bundle and bringing it into chokhmah. V'omar Odin, he says, furthermore, ki la'acha sh'alu zer v'nuk b'bina u'bina. Now these three are now traveling in this alma ba'oz yud, and now they're hidden in this letter yud, uh, which is chachma. So then what happens then? Yud ozeh yud, then the yud goes to another yud. I think we lose contact when we go around an asteroid or something like that. I don't know what it is in the communication blocks. Mm-hmm. All right, we're up at the uh, the upper right column over here on Reish Lamed Aleph. Uh, now we're talking about the combination of these three pieces down below, which is the Aleph and the He and the Vav. They're all going to travel to the Yud. So then now they're in the Yud. Az Cholik, which is the Shorish of their Shorish. As uh as I holach a oz yud shall hoch, but now this yud im zer v'nuk bina a kolulimba with with these three that are incorporated in the now in the yud el shorsho ba oz yud go to the root of it in the yud ha elyon chokma shall erik anpin which is the chokma of erik anpin behind the mochus to get into the mochus so in other words goes all the way back to its beginning I guess. The sasim mekal stimim, which is a place unknowable, shuhu sasim mekal stumim, closed up from all closingnesses, 
כלומר שהוא סוסם ונעלם גם בחוכמה רבינו הסתומי. So he says that it's hidden also from Chochma Bina Hastuma, which are also closed up. He gam Chochma Bina Shehem Abba Ve'ima Rabbeinu Ve'lo Yasigu Shum Chosoga Bechochma Al Yonah De Erek Anpin. Now just so, so shouldn't be too confusing here. Chochma Bina, here he's referring to uh, like the area of the beard uh, where Chochma Bina are associated rather than what, what we're talking about in Erek Anpin's other places in Erek Anpin's Head itself, so he said, which is the chokhmah of Eric Anpin. He got the chokhmah of Ben Shem Abba Ve'ima the Osigu Shum Hasaga with the chokhmah with El Yona, which is called the Mochus Dima the Eric Anpin. The Lo Mis Chavra Rabbi Be Be Vav Dalit. V'hi Nel Lamis. So this area, that is the I guess he's talking about the Mochus Dima. Nel Lamis Be Bechina the Kudu Daka Maod. It's extremely small. Uh, microscopes, what is it? At, at atomically small, subatomically small, whatever. He said, now, Lamba Bebechina Nakuda Daka Hamaoda, truly small, thin uh, dot. She ain't Mizgalim Baha Baosis and Miloy Vavdov, where you only see a dot. And there is no remit, there is no re- revelation of the Vav Dalit in it. That's not spread at all. You go back to the root of it. Because if you get to the point where it's a Nakuda, then there is no other, there's no possibility that there's a separation or that what he says, into two parts, Both in So that, for example, there would be a revelation of it so that you'd be able to see it or so it would be a peer. Elo Hokol Nishrash bin the Ellen, but all was rooted in back in that little dot bin the Kuda Ahabavad in that little tiny dot. And that's that idea that these guys were saying, uh, I see these guys that the that Yeshiva is saying that the tremendous power made it into something it's infinitely small. So then the Zohar says, We have a few more minutes. Well, the longer piece, so next time, Shkai. Okay, Shkai.